right now we're walking up through the courtyard entrance. And let's check. So we've just walked into the entryway, 4925 Turtle Point. If you look straight ahead, we're looking at the living room. Let's check out to minute to the right here. We've got a hallway with our guest bedrooms and guest bathroom. And coat closet here. We'll check out these rooms in just a moment. And if we look to our left, there's our kitchen and our family room. Now walking into the family room. Got a wine cooler here. This house is fully furnished. The artwork is not included, but they are negotiable. We've got a built-in desk here. And a little dining nook. And through this direction, we've got the washer and dryer with matching granite countertops. This granite matches throughout the downstairs. And storage. And the door to our two-car garage. Coming out of the laundry room, you'll see straight ahead we have a kitchen with the breakfast bar. Some built-in wine racks. All of the appliances are stainless steel, Viking. And coming through this kitchen was the dining room. And you'll see six chairs do fit nicely in here. These do convey with the property. Now looking here, we do have a step down to get into the living room. Let's take a quick shot back real quick, just so you can see where that front door lays again. Upstairs is the master suite. We'll see that in a moment. And back to our living room. We do have some very high ceilings in here. Both of these doors go to the backyard. And we have a wet bar in here. So now we're back to that hallway that we first saw to the right of the entryway when we came in. Straight ahead is our guest bathroom. We've got a Kohler sink in here. Some tile flooring. And this has all been recently renovated and upgraded. Got a seating area. and a brand new Kohler toilet. Coming out of this bed bathroom, we have bedrooms to the left and to the right. To the left is the first guest bedroom. These furnishings do convey. See the closet over here? There are some pot shelves up above. And this bedroom does have its own patio out here. This faces the front of the house. Coming out and directly across is one more bedroom. This could be used as an office, or it could be another guest bedroom. These doors lead to the backyard. You can see our closet space on the pot shelf once again. So we're now at the top of the stairs. I'm going to pan around real quick just so you can see what we're looking at. The entire upper level is the master suite, so we're actually looking through to the bedroom right now. You'll see we've got some potting shelves up here. And if we take a look down, we see directly into the family room. Let's turn back around. I 
and double doors going into the master suite. To the left is the bathroom, we'll see that in a moment, and to the right is the bedroom. We do have a ceiling fan in here, and these doors lead out to a balcony. These furnishings are included, the bedroom set. And we'll look at this balcony. Okay, this is our balcony out here. And let's go back to that bathroom. Okay, coming back inside the master. We're going to cross the threshold here and get into the bathroom. Now immediately to our right is a walk-in closet. With all the built-ins. Looking straight across, we have some more storage. To the left side is for hanging clothes. Let's open this up. You can see you've got plenty of room to hang some tall items. And this side is some shelves for a linen closet. And if we come out of here, we've got a bathroom area in here. This does have a door. Double sinks with granite countertops. And a jacuzzi bathtub. And a steam shower. So right now we're stepping out into the backyard. We're in the patio area here. This patio furniture does stay. And all the trees that you're looking at are actually Japanese blueberry. Let's take a look at the site over here. And you have exit out to the front. And there is a door off of the dining room over here. Take a look back one more time. And this is a copper fountain. A little further this direction. This is a door off of the two bedrooms. 